Zika virus has been around for a long time. We've known about it since about 1947, and that's when it affected the animals in uh, Uganda. Following on from that, in the early 1950s, it began to spread to humans, and it's been around since that time. And we've had outbreaks occurring in many areas in Africa and in parts of Asia. Zika virus is transmitted by the mosquito. So obviously the main thing is not to get bitten by the mosquito in the first place. The mosquitoes that transmit Zika are ones that actually bite during the daytime mainly, and mainly in big cities, not out in the countryside. Many of the mosquito-borne illnesses that we have to face are actually country-borne and um, outside the cities. So many people aren't at risk. This one, unfortunately, is one that does occur in cities. So the main thing is not to get bitten in the first place, to use your insect repellents to make sure you cover up and um, obviously try your best not to attract the mozzies towards you. Big issue is the infection has hit South America approximately five, six months ago. And following on from that, there was an unusual number of fetal abnormalities occurring. And that's what's brought into the news just very recently. Obviously, that's a major concern, but nevertheless, it's not proven just at this point in time. Most people who actually get the illness aren't that sick. They actually become a little bit fluey and fevery, sore eyes, itchy skin. And it lasts for maybe four, five, six days and then it actually washes out of the system and they're actually fine. So that's the vast majority of cases. Unfortunately, if the infection comes during a pregnancy, that's where it seems as though it might be linked to this fetal abnormality case which has, which has occurred.